Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I haven't uploaded an official video for some time. Um, sorry about that. I'm a, I'm a teacher in real life and it got to that part of the term or the semester where things got really hectic. But thankfully, I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and we should be back to our regularly scheduled program. Thanks for clicking on this video and I hope you find it very, very informative. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at different ways to divide a line into equal parts. Firstly, we're going to use the AutoCAD command and it's very simple. You go to the draw command and then you go to divide as you can see me doing here. So you select divide you click on the line and then they ask you well how many pieces do you want to divide the line into naturally i said 10. right there we go so what happens is you cannot see it now but instantly the line has been divided into 10 equal parts now to show you these parts I'm going to draw a line at each division point and um, they actually show you where the points of division are so you can see them. Alright, so we have our line here. It kind of looks like a brush that is lying on a table, something like that, a comb maybe. If you count the spaces in between, you will see that we have 10 spaces. Now to ensure that everything is what I say it is, I'm going to actually go through the process of numbering them. So I'm just speeding this part up a bit and see me numbering the spaces and there we go. We have 10 spaces, All right? So that's how you use the AutoCAD command. You use the divide command and you select the line you want to divide you enter the number of um, parts that you want to divide it into and that's it now this is the exciting part All right so i copied the baseline it's 700 millimeters what i'm about to do now is i'm about to divide this line into equal parts using the construction method now this is where, you know, if you're doing traditional technical drawing or you may be doing some kind of exam that requires you to construct the division, right? You can just click the AutoCAD command. Um, this is how you get it done. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to label the points so that my instruction can be a bit better. So we label the baseline AB. Great. Now, after you have this line, so AB is the line that we want to divide into 10 equal parts, right? What we need to do though, is we need to draw another line, a diagonal line to AB that line can come from A and we'll call this line uh, yeah my mouse just decided to flip out on me sorry about that AutoCAD does some weird things sometimes so we'll call this line AC So what I did, you may or may not have noticed, I just wrote one letter, I wrote the letter A, and from then I'll copy it, paste it wherever I want it to go, and then I'll edit it and write the letter that I want. I'm not sure if it's a shorter way to do it, but it feels kind of comfortable. Now that we have AC, here's what happens. Along the line AC, we need to create 
10 equal divisions along AC. Initially, I was going to draw some lines, 10 equal pieces of lines along AC, but I said, okay, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to use the arc command instead. And you will see it here. So we're using a radius of 25 millimeters. And once we have our first arc, we don't need to draw all the others. We can just copy it. All right, so even whether you're doing it on AutoCAD, some other CAD software, or you are doing it manually, this is what you'll do. So you scribe 10 arcs. Now the radius of each arc is the same. So you just divided this into equal spaces, into 10 equal spaces. Now where the last arc cuts AC, we're gonna draw a line to B. All right, I just, I'm just gonna label this point. I think this is the last point that we need to label. We call this point D. Great, so we have line D, B, or B, D, if you prefer. Now, what we need to do is to have lines that are parallel to D, B. Now, if I were doing this uh, in a traditional method, meaning pencil and paper, I would use my set squares, I would use my set squares and just slide them along to get the parallel lines. All right, that would be the fastest way. Because we are using AutoCAD, uh, once we copy the line, it maintains the angle and they are all parallel. Of course, at this point, I'm going to use my favorite command, the trim command. And yeah, it's going to remove those. Great. So we are almost finished. Where each diagonal line touches line AB, that is uh, that is the point of division, and the space between each point, according to the construction, if it's correct, the space between each point should be the same. So let's see. Let's let's test it and make sure everything is correct. So I just copied the lines from our previous construction and so far so good. Let's copy the numbers also so you can see that we do indeed have 10 spaces or 10 divisions. Uh huh, like this. But how do you know for sure that my construction was accurate? We need to measure the spaces. I think that's the only sure way to get it done. So let's, me let's measure it. All right, so we see that one space is 70 millimeters. Let's do it on the construction also. What do we have? What do you know? We have 70 millimeters and um, this just goes to show that whether you use the AutoCAD command or the construction it's the same thank you for viewing this video I hope it was very beneficial to you if you learned anything please like and subscribe